if you're lost, if you're struggling, if you're feeling unmotivated, it can really help to dig deeper. Today I'm going to talk about three different categories of questions you can ask yourself to help you when you're struggling. This will really help you uncover your true motivators, your value, and your purpose and priorities. This has really helped me when I've been struggling. So let's get into this now. The first one is what is your why? And this, you can ask this question in general, just in your whole life, or you can ask in a very specific thing, like what is your why in your martial arts training? Why do you train in martial arts? You could also ask this for your career or anything else. So it's really up to you how you wanna do this. So let's say with martial arts, you, know, you love martial arts, you're training in martial arts, but you're going through a period of time where you're struggling, you're having a hard time getting motivated to train, ask yourself why, ask yourself, why do I train in martial arts? And when you answer that, ask why again, whatever the answer is, why is that important to you? And keep asking why for every answer you give until you get to the deeper motivation. So maybe on the surface, you know, you train in martial arts because you know, you really like the people that you're training with, it's a good social outlet for you. But when you dig really deep, it's actually that you're feeling incredibly lonely in your life right now. You don't have a lot of social support. Maybe, you know, you're not close to anyone in your family and having your martial arts community really helps you during difficult times. But you might not figure that out if you don't ask that question and go deep with it. Maybe on the surface, you know, you train in martial arts for self-defense because you think that's important, but when you get down deep with it, you realize you want to be able to pass on those skills to your grandkids because you're really worried about them growing up in such a tumultuous, unsafe world, right? So digging deep can really, really help. So look at something that you're doing that's important to you, martial arts, your career, whatever it is, and ask yourself why. Ask yourself what pushes you to do this thing. Why is it important to you? Why do you value it? How would it change your life if you achieved a particular goal in that area? Maybe you wanna get your black belt in martial arts. How would it change your life? And what would bother you about not achieving that goal? Or what would bother you about not having this thing in your life if you decided to quit martial arts because you're going through this period of struggling to get motivated? What would it be like for you to actually quit? What would bother you about that? That can really help you figure out your true motivation there. So my why, for the karate shrimp, it's kind of complicated and it changes at times, but the underlying thing has always been connection, connection with people. I love the challenge of trying to connect with you through video and audio. It's incredibly difficult and I love that. And I want that, I want to be able to connect with you. I want to um, be able to you know, reach you in some way to help you feel seen and understood and heard. That's really important to me and that's a big part of what drives me. And I think connection with people is a big part of what got me into martial arts in the first place. You know, it, on the surface it was, I needed an outlet for all of the stress and pain and grief I was going through, but it was feeling less alone was a big part of that, right? I needed an outlet, but I needed to feel like there were people there who had my back, who understood me, who, you know, I had this extended family, that social connection and support was incredibly helpful. And just, you know, hanging out with people and having fun and doing something that, um, you know, distracted me from all the stress, that was incredibly helpful too. So connecting with people, that's a big part of what I do with a lot of what I do. And it's a big part of what drives me. And when my mom passed away, that was about three, just over three years ago, I did the eulogy at her funeral. I wrote the eulogy and something I talked about in that was something that I had realized as she was dying is she stopped. Well, she's for my mom, people were always the most important thing to her. Her people were the most important thing, far more important than anything else. And it really became clear when she was dying, she cared much more about her people and how they were doing than she cared about herself. You know, like she was scared and she was, you know, she like had a second cancer, unexpected stuff happening, horrible, horrible stuff she went through. But at the end, all she cared about was that we were all okay, right? And that really struck me. And, you know, I realized how much like that, that drives me as well, being, you know, caring about my people and having connections with those people. And that's the only thing that matters, really. It's people are far more important to me than status or wealth or power, any of that bullshit. That doesn't matter to me. It's, it's connection with people. And that's what drives me with a lot of what I do. So that can really help me when I'm struggling. If I'm, when I'm struggling with the karate shrimp and sometimes I think, well, you know, maybe my, I'm not doing well with it. I'm not getting a lot of views or whatever it is by certain measures of 
you know, success, it's not um, hitting those, but am I connecting with people? Am I reaching people? Am I helping people? Do people find value in this? Do people reach out and say, wow, this really helped me or wow, you know, this thing really lightened my day. I was having a tough day. And often, well, it's yes to those questions. The answer is yes. And that's that reminds me of why I'm doing this. It's not about the views. It's not about uh, like I want this to, to be a full time thing. But ultimately, it's not about, you know, getting rich doing it or anything like that. It's not about having influence over people. It's not being seen as a leader. It's nothing like that. It's am I helping people? Am I connecting? Am I reaching people? That's that's what drives me. So second thing, what are your top three priorities? And take some time with this. This is a really helpful framework for making the best use of your time and for figuring out when to say no to things, realizing you know things that don't matter, we need to say no to those things, especially if it takes time away from what's important to us. So figure out your top three priorities. What are the three most important things to you? For me, my top three are number one, most important thing of all is my relationship with my kids. So being an active present parent, super important to me, more important than anything else, more important than any of my ambitions or goals or any of that. Not, not, none of that matters if I don't have a good relationship with my kids. So second one is my health and specifically deep health is really important to me. So deep health is having, you know, our health in all different areas of our lives so our physical well-being, our mental well-being, social, all of that stuff, spiritual, etc. Okay, so how healthy am I, you know, and making sure I have time in my day to do things that nourish that. So physical fitness is really important to me. That's a big part, part of it. So make sure I have time every day for exercise, for training, make sure I, you know, give myself enough time for good quality sleep and that I do things to support that. Um, you know, make sure that I, I have like focusing on my mental health, you know, my social connections, stress management, all of that stuff, my diet, all of that stuff is really important to me. So carving out time in my day to, um, to make sure that those things are in place. And the third one for me is building the karate shrimp. And so what you do is you come up with your three priorities and whatever they are, that's, you know, it's, it's personal to you. So it's not going to be the same necessarily as mine or anyone else's. And then you ask a question for each one. So when something comes up in your day and you're not sure if you should do this thing or, you know, if it's, it's, um, someone invites you to something, maybe it's a, an opportunity, you know, whatever it is, and you're, you're not sure what to say, ask yourself for each of those three priorities, will it help you in that area? So for me, you know, my, for being, uh, having a good relationship with my kids, the question would be, will this help me improve my relationship with my kids? Or I could ask, what will this help me be a more present parent? And the second one, my deep health, um, priority. Will this help me with my health, my well-being? You know, that could be my fitness, my sleep, my social well-being, my mental health. Will it help me with that? And the third one, will this help me build the karate shrimp? Will this have a big impact on the karate shrimp? Okay, so something comes up, let's say someone invites you to a party and you can say, well, for each of your three priorities, is it a yes or a no? Will this help you will going to that party help you in these three things? So for me, if it was a party where my kids were invited and they really wanted to go, it would be a yes. Well, it's going to help me improve my relationship with my kids. It'll help me be an active parent because I'm there with them, supporting them in something that's important to them. I'll have fun with them, right? And see them having fun. So yeah, that, that could be a yes. If it was a party that they're not invited to and I have to ditch them, uh, but it's something that I really want to go to, you know, it's like people I like, I'm going to have fun there. I'm going to kick back and relax. It'll be good for my mental health. That could be a yes. If it's a party I don't really feel excited about going to, I don't really know the people or I don't feel comfortable with them, it's a vibe I'm not uh, interested in, or if I just really need a night off and this is going to exhaust me, then that would be a no. Okay, so you can see where I'm going with this. Um, second one, for my health. Okay, going to this party, is this going to be good for my health? If... I'm going to have fun there. I'm going to be able to relax and enjoy myself. I'll feel comfortable. It'll be a good outlet for stress and all that. Then yeah, that could be a yes. I'll go to the party. If however, it'll leave me feeling drained and exhausted or I'll feel uncomfortable, then no, I'm not going to go. That should be a no. And then the third one, will this help me grow the karate shrimp? If there's going to be someone there who, you know, maybe 
the, you know, there's there's the possibility of doing an interesting video collab or maybe someone who has a lot of technical knowledge and I can perhaps pick their brain over video production, then yeah, that might be worth going to that party. If, however, it's not going to provide that or it's going to take away time that I could use for working on a video, then okay, that's going to be a no. So with this, you can ask yourself a question for each of your three priorities. Will this particular thing help me in those three areas? And if it's if you get a, a yes for any one of those, even just one, then yeah, you can you can do that thing, right? If you, if if you want to, if it's a no for all three, then it should be a no. So you know, time is precious. We can't say no to everything, and if we do, we can quickly um, well feel drained and pulled away from what's really important to us. If we say yes to everything else, we're saying no to us, and we're saying no to our priorities. And when you have it written down like this, it can be a really helpful reminder. Like, okay, I'm invited to this thing. Should I go? You know, maybe it's a good opportunity, or I feel obligated. Is it going to help me achieve? whatever my goals are, is it going to help me with my three priorities? Does it align with my three priorities? If it's a no for all three, it should be a no. It's just going to take away from what's important to you. So I found this really, really helpful and I use this often. Number three, last one, this is probably the hardest one. It was the hardest one for me, is figuring out what are your 10 unique abilities. So 10 things about you that you're really, really good at that you are like very unique to you, very unique, unique to you. If you're struggling with this, like for me doing this activity, it took me a long time to do it. It feels like bragging or something. And I'm, I don't know, I just don't feel really comfortable. And, and if you have a mean voice in your head, it can be really hard to figure this one out. You can reach out to someone you know, who you trust, who you feel comfortable with, who knows you really well and say, hey, what are my unique abilities? You can ask more than one person in your life if, if that's an option. What am I good at, right? And that can be really helpful to see it from other people's perspective. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can do what I did is I imagined someone else answering this for me. I imagined you know, some hypothetical person who cares about me and knows, knows me really well, what would they say are 10 things that I'm uniquely good at? Okay, so my 10 unique abilities, and this is, feel a little self-conscious sharing this, but just to give you, you know, an idea of what I'm talking about here, this really helps me when I'm struggling, when I'm feeling lost, when I feel like, you know, what's the point of all this? Am I making any headway? Am I like doing anything of value? Looking at this list really reminds me of, no, like I am good at stuff and I am putting out something of value in the world. So here it is. So my 10 unique abilities, number one, this is no particular order here creating a safe space where people feel heard and understood. Number two is building rapport and gaining trust. Number three, operating with integrity and honesty. Number four, being real, approachable, and authentic. Number five, putting people first over profit, views, and my own self-interest. That's super important to me. Uh, number six, helping others see things in a new way from a different perspective. Number seven, problem solving in a creative way. I get a little crazy with my creativity sometimes. Number eight, simplifying complicated issues, behaviors, and feelings and finding the root of the problem. Number nine, pushing through despite obstacles. The last few years really made that clear to me that I'm good at that. And number 10, behaving in a way that makes people feel that their feelings and lives matter, both to me and in the bigger picture. And that's, yeah, super important to me that um, I do that. And I, I think I'm, I think I'm good at that. I, I hate, I hate saying that. Like it's, it's, it's so hard to, yeah, it feels like bragging, but I think I am good at that. I have had a lot of people reach out and say that, that I do help. So I guess I can say that to my own horn. Toot toot. Anyway, I, I have had people, you know, comment on some of my videos and say, yeah, you're just about the views. You just want attention. And that's really not it. It really is about connecting with people for me and helping them feel that they have value and that they matter and the things that they do matter. And, uh, you know, it's not about helping um, a whole bunch of people. It's about helping you, you at the other end of this camera, at the other end of, um, you know, this audio, like it, it really is about helping you and connecting with you and helping you feel seen and understood. So that for me, that's my why, my three priorities, top three priorities and my unique abilities. And this really helps me to, um, you know, just to figure out what's important to me, to remind myself of my purpose, 
to help me when I'm struggling with motivation and to remind me of the importance of setting boundaries so that I can make things happen. So I can say yes to the things that are important to me and let go of the things that aren't. So try this activity, try those three things. It can help you so, so much when you're struggling. So thank you for listening. And I really hope this helps.